The modern brick and glass facade of Razorback Stadium welcomes us to Fayetteville. We're in Arkansas, and great football is just ahead. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. tackled right around the 34. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 34. Makes it to the 44. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. He was tackled immediately. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 43-yard line. gets out to about the 37-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. at the 20. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. throw out to the receiver incomplete he tried to hit his receiver in stride but overthrew it a little too much that'll come in time just repetition throwing that same pass over and over and he'll be fine tackle made around the 17 yard line boy did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier that was fantastic pursuit Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. Here we go! Set, 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 set. He's under pressure. Moves up in the pocket and down he goes. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Arkansas is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
South Carolina's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he hits him hard at the 19. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. And he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He throws it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Crawford is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 47-yard line. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Arkansas has a three-point lead. Here we go. Sanders gets the carry. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. Nice run up the middle. Tackle right around the 30. There's a reason why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. First and 10, ball on the 30. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 16 yard line. Decent pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he tackles him hard at the seven yard line. Arkansas holds a field goal lead. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Arkansas! job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 47-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So the score now, 10-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Lloyd on the handoff. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Crawford back deep to return. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Arkansas's staff was talking all week long that this offense wanted to get off to a strong start, and they have. They have. They talked about building that momentum early in the game and then trying to be able to hold on into the second half, where they've gotten off to a great start so far. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From the 46-yard line, first down. Down he goes at the 28. First and 10, ball on the 28. Gives it to the back. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Ready! Blue 45! Brought down right around the 16-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16. Nice play fake. The 10 slides down. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. back to him and this time they get him in the backfield second down and goal four yards out he's taken down just outside the goal line that makes his third and goal here's the eighth play of the series Touchdown, Razorbacks. Yeah. 
And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Nice run to the outside. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. He has some room. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. They'll work the left. He's pushed out of bounds around the 45-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Caught open field. Steps out of bounds around the 48-yard line. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and so far it's been pretty one-sided. The Razorbacks lead it by 17. to the action now here in the second quarter. Caught and he's hit immediately. From the 49 yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly. He's got the tailback on another catch. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. And you're an option quarterback. You get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Good open field tackle. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. It's up, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Make it 
from their own 28-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 37. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ready, ready. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. He makes it out to about the 44-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Van awaiting the return. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 39. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. The running back gets the first. He's a reliable ball carrier as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. Here we go. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 42. And he hits him hard at the 45. And he throws right away. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's got an opening. Five yards there for the quarterback. That brings him second and five. Right, right. 
He fights forward to about the 30. The running back picks up a yard on the counter. They're about four yards away here on third down. complete and taken down immediately. Makes it to the 17. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Runs through a defender, and he's in. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arkansas up seven points. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Second and six. Ball of the 29. Ready, Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Fires incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Sanders gains around six yards on the run. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it, and that'll bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Arkansas is up seven. They'll bring him down at the 31. The Gamecocks quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's yeah, not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, if you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. 
Second and nine. Ball on their own 31. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He wants it all going long. He's tackled at the 18. South Carolina will take their second time out of the half. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. And he's taken down at about the seven yard line. Scrambling around, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. What a touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Dropped back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 26. So we've played two quarters. This game is all tied up, 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, break, not to give away any turnovers. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis would be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I know mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half is as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 22. Here's an opening. Tackle at the 39. 
17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tackle after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down at the 41. That's good for the 14 yards. First down. He has some room. Room around the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. From the 26-yard line, first down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. To, to review, review the, play, the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the six. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice run there. Lloyd gains about four yards on the play. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They line up in the jumbo set. Splits the uprights with the extra point. South Carolina kicked this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The Gamecocks staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way. Going long. Caught out of the open, and he's finally out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Brought down at the 34. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. And he's level at the 38-yard line. 
That makes it 30 and 15. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Five wide. Let's go! Omaha! Omaha! And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. South Carolina is up by a touchdown. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. tries to buy some time and down he goes around the 48 yard line from the 48 yard line first down he's on the run he'll take it himself and they make the stop at the 33 yard line from the 33 yard line check it's first down three, check three. Let's go. there he goes nice run up the middle that's a team seven South Carolina is up a score. <laughs> up the middle for a nice game. That's a team of four on the play. That makes it first and ten. ten. From the 22-yard line, first down. And a quick throw. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he is drilled at the 15-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. to him and he did not get the first down.
and he hits him hard at the 20. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Over the middle to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike 19, Mike 19. Let's go! White and he tackles him hard at the 44. two yard line. Makes it to the 22 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Little is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23. So at the end of three, we get a tie game here, knotted at 24. Yeah. 
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. on the run gets it to the halfback and they push him out at the 40 from their own 40 yard line first down he's tackled at the 40 yard line A nice run up the middle. And here's another third down. And he's immediately tackled. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. This is the ninth play of this drive. Here's the halfback. Nice gain as he works the right side. That makes it second and six. From the 25-yard line, second down. Slings it. Tackle around the 20 yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll work the left. He's pushed out of bounds around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. He's lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that option. it 
it off on the delay. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Johnson gains around six yards on the run. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and three. after a decent run up the gut. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. And now he's got room to run. They go to the left for a nice game. It's the ninth play of the drive. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's the 11th play of the drive. Nice run there. Sanders comes away with five yards on the carry. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down around the 10 yard line. Green gets three yards on the play. That makes it third and three. 13th play of the drive coming up. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up third and six. They go back to the run, and he'll be stopped in the backfield. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. 
The Razorbacks taking their first time out of the half. Just under two to go in the game. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Crawford takes it to 28, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And down he goes at the 49. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, now tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through fourth quarter. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. First down. And he's hit immediately. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down at the 34. South Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he hits him hard at the 22-yard line. Someone's got to come down with it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Folks, we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime. Here we go. The kick is away. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. South Carolina staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.